Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to make an open party on your PlayStation 5 so anybody can join. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So with the latest PlayStation update, you can now once again have an open party for voice chat. And this is very easy to do. Just press the PlayStation button, open up the control center, and then go to your new game base right here. Now we will have friends on the top, we will have parties, and then messages and message groups are going to remain the same. So all we have to do is go to parties now, and then go to start party. Parties you can join will be displayed here. Start a new party or voice chat to use share screen or share play with your friends. So let's go to start party. Now under here, we have two options, open party. Open your friends to join. Friends and party members can also join. Close party, only selected players can join. Create a group to start a party. So let's go to the open party option now. Now we can change the name of the party like we used to. We can invite players. Then we have a new feature called request to join. Players who want to join this party will need to request an invite. If this setting is turned off, friends and friends of party members can join without an invite. Now we have a party limit all the way up to 16 people in this party. So now we can easily go to start party and it will create the party just like it did before. Then from here we have a couple of different options like invite players to party. And then the new thing is start share screen. All we have to do is press this button and anything we are playing is going to be displayed to our friends now in this party. So if we view where it says watching, we can see how many people are watching us play, etc. And it's very easy to stop the share screen too. So I'm going to be using this feature quite a bit. I think just to share my perspective when I'm playing maybe like Call of Duty Warzone or something like that. Now we can go to the three dots right here and go to more. And then we have the audio balance was put into this setting section. And this will move the slider to adjust the audio volume balance for games and voice chat. And we have mute all voice chat settings. And then we have open party settings. So if we did want to change this round, like change the party name, then we have the option to request join or we could disable that here as well. Then the party limit as well is here. Then I have chat transcript on and that's the little chat thing right next to the party. And if someone says something in the party, it should record it and display on here. Or we can type in here and it will say this message to our friends with like a robot voice. And another new feature is you can see who's talking with their name, their icon. It will highlight blue around it. And you'll have their profile picture or you'll see when it's actually muted. Now if you go back to the game base, you can still see your party under here now. And if there's any additional parties you can join, they will be displayed under the party section. So you can go to view all parties under here. Now, when your friend or someone joins like um, a message group voice chat, it should display under here as well. So if I go to messages and I go to, let's go to the one I use a lot, the A team or the B team. And then I go to join just like we did before. And now I'm in this party and I go back to the game base. It will display under parties now. So you can see it says join. So there's two different ways we can now join parties or create parties. We can use the message groups or we can go to party. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.